Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Fourth of July baseball coming at you. It's the Texas Rangers taking on the Baltimore Orioles. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set now. Now the third baseman, Josh Smith. Next offering misses, two and one. That one ripped right center field. This one's got a chance. And it hits the fence. Throw cut off to third. He's in there. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here is Marcus Simeon. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Three balls, two strikes the count. Now fly ball to right center. Mullins brings it in, and that should get the job done as he tags from third. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. That's just a really nice four. catch on the Good run four. right there. He saved four. extra bases for sure. Probably needs a second to catch his breath. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his four. breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. Kicks and fires. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And Seeger is set down. That's out number two. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those could be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. And that's ball four. So two down, Nathaniel Lowe stepping in for the Rangers. First offering, runner goes. Ball misses. Throw to second, out at second. That ends the inning. Bottom of the first. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullen. Up the middle, over to low, and they get Mullins for the out. Trey Mancini now. Batting second, the designated hitter, Trey Mancini. Next pitch misses way outside. And the righty deals. And another ball. Three balls, one strike. One down, base is empty. Oink. Count is full. Three balls, two strikes. Started after it. Go. Appeal to first. Did not go. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that ball. Anthony, Anthony Santander at the plate. 2-1 Two -one pitch is in there, and the count is even. And that one is lifted in the air. Tavares sizes this one up, tracks it down for the out. Two away. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Batting four. The first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. Kicks and deals. And now two balls and a strike. Mancini off of first with two away. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that is that. And welcome back. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. The 
the count two and one. In the air, out towards right center. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked Not himself into a good count. Catcher, Pretty much just a textbook you. double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Next you offering ball. way one off strike. the plate. The 2 1. And that one fouled off. On the ground. The throw to first. One out in the second. Now batting Steven Duggar. Batting seven. The left fielder, Steven Duggar. Right hander kicks deals. Popped in the air. Left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Runner tagging from third. The throws offline. He's safe. And they lead by two. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Two outs. Base is empty. Up next for the Rangers, Leody Tavares. That one fouled off. The next oh. offering misses. It's two and two. Righty to the plate. Down is four. Three, two. And he walked him. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. So the Rangers batting order turns over. Digging in, Josh Smith tripled and scored to lead off the game. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Ground ball, left side. They get the force. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And into the box for Baltimore, Adley Rutschman. hit left center field now he'll turn for second and his first big league hit is a double and now it's Austin Hayes man at second on the ground to third over to low that's one out the bottom of the second Rugnet Odor comes up to the plate now. Batting seven, the second baseman. Rugnet Odor. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Here comes Rutschman around third. He'll score easily, and they trail by one. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Well done, drives in the run. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. And here is Jonathan Arauz. The next oh. pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. And he deals. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. His first homer of the year, and they grab the lead. It's 3 2. Jorge Mateo now. 1 1 now. Lifted in the air, right center field. Garcia under it. 
and puts the squeeze on that. And there are two down. Back to the top of the lineup. So makes the hit for Baltimore. Cedric Mullins. Cedric. Rounded out his first time up. The wind of the pitch. It's off his shoulder, eats him up. Duggar throws to second. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. On to the third inning. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Next one misses two and two. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Next pitch has popped up. Arauz makes the catch, and there's one down. And here's Corey Seeker to hit. All for one, he was robbed Corey. of a hit on a diving catch his first time up. Next pitch misses. Ball two. Left hand batter waits. Into center. Mullins in position. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Adolis Garcia now, stepping in for the White Rangers. Team. Adolis Garcia. The 3 1. On the ground, right side. On to first. Out. And Garcia is out. And that's the third out. Welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third. Leading off, Trey Mancini. Swing and a bouncer. Sends it to first. One up, one down. Good late bite on that slider. The Got the hitter out front, the rolled over on it. Exactly Anthony. what he was supposed to do. Santander. Next no. offering misses, and it's two, two and one. one. One strike. The wind of the pitch. They say it went. Playing two balls, two strikes. A wide to kick the pitch. Stays alive. Ground ball up the middle. Tosses to first. Out. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. So now the six. Orioles cleanup hitter, Ryan Mountcastle. Mountcastle. The pitch. Out to short. Gathers and throws to first. Gets him easily, ends the inning. Back here in Baltimore, and now the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. The next offering misses. Two and one. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Liner, base hit. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. Oh, it's just the bigger than your own individual yeah. stats. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And it's through for a hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Well, that certainly feels good when you can well, win the at bad after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box, got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Here's a 2-1. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Hayes puts it away, one away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor oh, like him he is looking forward to make it up for it in his next at bat and the pitch on the ground left side six 
four. Three, it's a double play. And that'll do it for the end. Back here at the ballpark, here's Adley Rutschman. The pitch. That one the other way. Base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff down. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, now hitters, man. they take so no many reps in the cages, working oh, on man. going to the opposite field, and it doesn't hey. always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now it's going to be Austin Hayes. And now the oh. count is even. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. That one ripped. Base hit into right field. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Now, back. now at the plate, Rupnet Odor. Odor. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Garver makes the grab, and there's one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing Number on it. Just got three. underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Rutschman, right. the lead runner at second. Hayes over at first with one away. Next one misses, and it's two and one. Swing and a ground ball out to short. And that one finds its way through. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Batter, three. Here's a speed Good threat. Stop. Jorge Mateo. Jorge. 0 for 1 so far. The 1-1. One, one. And a foul ball. Strike three. Got him swinging. Huge strike out there. And now, now the center fielder, center Cedric fielder. Mullins. Cedric. Base is loaded, two down. Oh, yeah. Swings and misses. And the count two. one and two. Two outs. Bounced up the middle. They take the force out. That's the third out. Inning over. Back now at Oriole Park. We go to the top of the fifth. Now it's the DH. Jonah Heim. And a pitch. And there's a the ball. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Righty delivers. Swung on, belted. That one's got a chance. And it's gone. He leaves the yard to right. His first homer of the year, and it ties it up. It's 3-3. Josh Smith stepping in for the Rangers. Next pitch misses. Yeah, the count two and one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Foul ball there. The real threats are coming off. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The two-two. Oh, count three balls, two strikes. Got him looking. And there's one down. Next up for Texas, Marcus Simeon. Marcus Simeon. And a 1 1. Here's a high chopper. Mountcastle to first in time. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. Two outs, base is empty. 
So next to hit for Texas, Corey Seager. And a pitch. That misses the zone. And a count two and one. And here it comes. Three one. To the right side, Odor picks it up, throws to first, and Seeger is set down. And that'll do it. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now here's the Orioles DH, Trey Mancini. And a pitch. And a foul ball. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now one away. And now the right fielder, Anthony Santander. Anthony. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Next Whoa. offering is downstairs. Two one. And now two and two. On the ground to first. And he handles it himself for the out. So up next, Ryan Mountcastle. Number six, Ryan Mountcastle. One and two here. Ripped to short. That's the inning. And they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, number 79. And this is his season debut. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings. And he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Back here in Baltimore. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Now it's the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. Swings through that. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. Ball. Playing two, two, two. That one, one miss. Three ball, two strikes. Three and two now. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Hayes moving back for this one. Drops into the glove. And there's one away. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Now batting the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. This one popped up. Mateo pulls that one down, two away down. Two outs, base is empty. Mitch Garver up to hit here. Catcher. Mitch Garver. Ground ball right side, dives, but it kicks off his glove. The flip to the pitcher covering, and it's a one, two, three inning. Bottom of the sixth inning. Now the Orioles catcher, Adley Rutschman. The 1 1. Good ball, eye right no. there. Two balls, one strike. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. And the count is even, two and two. And that one in the air, center field. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. No yeah, outs. Runner at first. And next to the Orioles, Austin Hayes. Hayes. Now a rip into left center. Can't get there. Base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. 
Two consecutive base back. hits for these guys base here. Base. That's a good Look sound there. coming off the bat, man. And oh, as he connected boy. out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Matt, Matt Moore, out of pitch, out of the pen here. This southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. First and second, no outs. Rubnet Odor, the next to hit for the Orioles. The pitch. Stays alive. First and second here, no outs. And that'll load the bases. Well, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Here's the third baseman, Jonathan Arauz. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Now one away. And into the box for Baltimore, Jorge Mateo. He struck out with the bases loaded his last time. Another opportunity with the sacks packed right here. Here's a swing and a drive. This one headed down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone out of here. So digging in, Cedric Mullins. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Yeah, there's the strike. Well, it's easy to be satisfied and get a little distracted after a grand slam, but there's still a lot of work in this inning to do, and you can really deliver a knockout blow. Garber with the throw to first, and they get Mullins for the out. Just not a good pitch to swing at. One reason he's an everyday player is he usually lays off of that jump. And now the lefty. And one and two. Here comes a pitch. Just a weak fly ball this time. Seeger sizing this one up, and that is that. All set for the start of the inning. Now the left fielder, Steven Duggar. Gets under and pops it up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Here's Leody Tavares. A switch hitter batting right. Leody Tavares. Kicks and fires. Check swing, but he went too far. It's a ball and two strikes. The wind of the pitch. That one Whoa. ran inside, almost got him. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. The punch out there, now two away. Two outs, base is empty. Next is the DH, a switch hitter. Jonah Heim, he's already homered here in this one. They say it went. In the air, left field. Hayes makes the catch, and that'll do it. With the traditional seventh inning stretch. Back here at the ballpark, set for the last half of the seventh. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Anthony Santander. The wide to kick the pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And there's one away. So now it's the four hole hitter, the Ryan Mountcastle. Ryan Mountcastle. And he deals. That's the third. Smith collects it. Fires across the diamond. And a couple of quick outs. Adley Rutschman will hit next. Adley Rutschman. The 2 1. And it's fouled away. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. And now it's filled up. 
kicks and deals. And that one hammered. That's got a chance. He hits the wall and hangs on. Great catch. Welcome back. And here is Josh Smith. The Rangers in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. So now one and two. One ball, two strikes. The other way. Hayes makes the play, and there's one down. Marcus Simeon stepping in for the Rangers. Second basing. Marcus Simeon. Next offering misses, and that's ball two. A wind in the pitch. Late on that fastball. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Line drive, base hit down the line. And that's going to kick into the corner. Around first, heading for two. And that's a double. Now batting. Shortstop. Corey. So now it's Corey Seeger. At the belt and fires. And there's a fly ball deep right field. That's back. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Grounder tags at second, and he moves up to third. Now two away. The batter, the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. Simeon on third with two out. Got it. So that is that. Taking over on the mound for the Rangers, Joe Barlow. Now this is his Texas. first appearance of the Number season. 68. Joe Barlow. Bottom of the inning, here's the left fielder, Austin Hayes. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Just a fastball that got away from him there. He Lead didn't off. have the right Good finish to it. Good extension that he basement. needed to get to his target. Oh, God. The 2 1. And that one missing low. Nobody out. Runner first. And he hits a ground ball right side. Sneaks through. Base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Well, that was one of those high percentage third advantage three, counts where batting three. averages are just so number much three. higher. Just a cookie down the middle. Ooh. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, okay. not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Left hand batter waits. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One out. Jorge Mateo, the next Mateo. to hit for the Orioles. Jorge the 1-1. One, one. And another ball. Right-hander kicks, deals, and there's ball four. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boog. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Cedric Mullins, the next to hit for the Orioles. Squirts away a little bit. Nice job behind the plate there. Hayes on third. Odor at second. Mateo at first. One gone.
Right-handed reliever. Base hit. One run is in. The throw in. It's offline. The run comes in, and it's 9-3 gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Pitch was on the outside, yeah, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. So out of the bullpen for the Rangers, Garrett Richards. Hasn't pitched in a while. He's had the last five days off. So they're at the corners now. So next to hit for Baltimore, Trey Mancini. Good contact guy, good defender. Next pitch has popped up. Smith settles under this one. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there are two outs. And next for the Orioles, Anthony Santander. Up next for the Orioles, the right fielder, Anthony Santander. That one in for a strike, two and two. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Right side, hard hit. Throw to first. Mullins back in standing. Runners on first and third, two away. Another throw over. And he's back in that time as well. Back to first, and no luck this time either. The 2-2. Two -two. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Tavares gliding back. Squeezes it, and that'll do it. Now on the bump, Keegan Aiken had a healthy sized lead for him to go to work with. And welcome back. New inning getting started. And here's the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. The pitch. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. And it bangs up against the wall. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the ninth. Everything came together perfectly now for him right there. He got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on plane with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. Next offering is way upstairs. runner leads away at second if you're gonna get Down something four. going this is the time to do it you get the leadoff man on everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say I'm just gonna keep the line moving don't try to do too much out to short it's through for a hit stop sign goes up at third runners at the corners nobody out the Steven Duggar the stepping field. in for the Rangers Duggar. and the pitch Ground ball to the right side. And it goes just foul. Two two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Fouled off. He was late. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Bounce to the left side. That's a base hit, run scores. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at-bat, battling with two okay. strikes. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it, just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. Next pitch is popped up. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. 
Here's a 1 1. That one pushed foul. Next one is off the plate. Two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Line drive. And that's a base hit. And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. A lot of hitters now tell down. themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that yeah. approach simple. You're and right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Jorge, Jorge Lopez, Lopez gets the call from the pen, and he's on to deal with the bases loaded. So up next, Josh Smith. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Base hit, one run is in. And they hold the runner at third. Bases remain loaded here. Still only one gone. One out, bases loaded. Marcus Simeon stepping in for the Rangers. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Base hit, one run in already. Runner at third, puts on the brakes. Bases still loaded and still only one away. Seeger stands in now. Pitch. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. And a pitch. That is ball four, and that'll bring home a run. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall. This inning's definitely getting away from him. Garcia. So bases loaded with one away. Next to hit, Adolis Garcia. And the right hander deals. And a swing and a miss. Now two out. Up next for the Rangers, Nathaniel Lowe. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go ahead runs are aboard. Next offering is down low. And a foul ball. Swing and a miss. And that's the ball game. I always love playing 4th of July games at home. There's so much energy in the ballpark. The red, white, and blue everywhere. And when you get a win, you feel like you did something special. Now it's off to get showered and change and enjoy these fireworks. And 9-7 is the final here in this one as the Orioles win this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.